Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to be discussing um, one of my favourite uh, people ever, uh, I've only met her once um, but I think she's an amazing poet um, and I'm also going to be discussing um, how um, writing can help you work through some life stuff um, and discuss taboo subjects. So one amazing lady who um, does this is um, Holly McNish. She talks about growing up and the taboo subjects around growing up, so sexuality and um, feeling um, pressured by the media. Um, she is very, very honest in her poems. Um, uh, the way she writes is very uncompelling and accessible. Um, so I'm going to talk about some of her poems. Um, I recently got sent this by Picador, very lucky. Um, she's like one of my favourite poets so you can imagine as I unwrapped the post I was very happy. So one thing I absolutely loved about this was that Holly combined um, some of her writing that she wrote when she was eight with her current writing now. Um, I really enjoyed that and it shows she's been writing a very long time. Um, I've been writing a very long time and I don't think I'd be writing poems like as good as she did when I was eight if I'm honest but anyway. Um, I loved um, the combination of that, um, so she'd write a poem about being 17 and at discos next to a poem um, when she was 17 and she was in love with somebody. Poems are a wonderful way of making situations relatable and Holly does this in um, her poems. Um, I was back at my school discos when she was talking about sticky pop all over the floor, candy necklaces and the macarena. Holly's poetry is strong and no-nonsense. Um, she doesn't um, walk around subjects um, or worry about um, what people will say about what she said. These poems um, are fantastic performed uh, and there is an audiobook of, um, version available on Audible um, or read by yourself. Um, I really enjoyed reading them um, as a book in book form. Um, obviously it took me um, a while because I have Ellen syndrome but um, if you can read normally and um, you will whip through this because um, some pages are like this um, but then the others obviously are more full. For Holly there's no such that's off limits um, and it focuses on coming of age and um, becoming um, a teenager then an adult then a mother um, and you see her through all of those life changes um, in this book. Um, it offers concise um, snapshots of her life and I think it's almost like a wordy photograph album. I think she's going to love reading this um, in 10 years, 20 years time um, because she has got a snapshot of her life um, in 124 pages. Thank you very much for watching. I'll leave a link to this book down below. Um, I'm a bit of a um, Hollywood Anish fan. Um, one of my first videos actually was congratulating Holly on her uh, Ted Hughes award win. Um, so yeah, um, tiny bit obsessed but anyway. Um, I will see you all next time. If you have any um, spoken word on YouTube you'd like me to watch because Holly is also very big on YouTube, please let me know. Um, I'll see you again next time. Bye!